Hello everyone, it's Jerry Caudell, Yankee Creek Stitcher. I'm back for floss tube number 31. It is Thursday, September 19th of 2019. Thank you so much. If you are a returning subscriber and visitor, I appreciate you stopping by and visiting with me each week. And if you're new, thank you for spending some time with me today and uh, to see what my channel is all about. Ah. <sighs> Got a lot of stitching done, um, not on very many whips, but uh, quite a bit done um, on the whips that I have worked on. So I'm excited about that. I've got, actually got a couple of finishes to share with you. Um, let's see, let's get to the exciting part. <laughs> Thank you so much for the all of my subscribers. I reached my twenty five hundred dollar uh, twenty five hundred subscribers, and um, I had you enter last on my last floss tube. Um, I was delayed a week. Sorry about that. But um, I had over two hundred comments to enter for my project bag and chart give giveaway. Super excited about that. Everyone loved all my haul, and of course, there was a lot of enabling done. <laughs> Sorry about that, but I know how it is because I watched a few floss tubes that did um, some, showed a lot of their haul and a lot of their progress. And oh my gosh, it's like a never ending list of what you must get. <laughs> okay, so um, I did the random comment picker on YouTube and the winner is Marlene Klauser or Clouser, C L A W S E R. Marlene, congratulations. She loves wintertime and Christmas is her favorite holiday. We're kindred spirits, I guess, because love all the wintertime and the Christmas. So um, definitely we'll be able to make you a beautiful project bag. Marlene, please email me at Yankee Creek stitch at gmail.com and I will get that bag ready for you and get it into the mail for you. Thank you so much for watching and commenting. Congratulations. My winner from my previous giveaway, which was for Ink, uh, Red's Treehouse from Ink Circles, I haven't been contacted yet. So Kathy Slow Stitch H um, please email me again at yankeecreekstitch at gmail.com. That's her name there. Kathy Slow Stitch H. So contact me if I don't hear from you from by my next floss tube. I will pick another winner from that floss tube giveaway. Okay, let's get into the good stuff. Okay, um, what I've been up to. It's still like blazing hot here, but I am in total autumn mode. So I have been stitching on autumn charts, fall charts, Halloween charts. Um, I really enjoyed that. I was hoping to stitch on a sampler or something for sampler September, but I just didn't get around to that. I have, I counted up, I have, I think it was 53 whips. So I need to get some of those knocked out because 99% of them, I, you know, really want to get stitched and into my home. Some of them, well, I started like really early on. It's kind of like, oh, I don't know if I'll actually keep on doing that or just maybe put it into a, you know, let's wait till a little bit later to count this as a whip. So I want to get some of those knocked out. So I have been concentrating on autumn and Halloween stitching. I also have been concentrating on getting my fall decor up. It's like a never ending process. <laughs> I don't ever feel like I can ever like get it completely done so that I'm enjoying it. I um, have started following some people on YouTube that does Dollar Tree DIYs. And so, yes, I got hooked into that. Um, so I've been doing a lot of uh, painting of some Halloween and fall decor. I just need to get it done and get it out so I can sit back and relax and enjoy it for at least a month because towards the end of October, 
it's all gonna get put down and Christmas is gonna be put up. So hopefully I'll get that all knocked out this week and be able to sit back and enjoy it. And I also gotta get ready for to do a yard sale. I have so much stuff to put into a yard sale. I just dread doing it. My husband told me if you need if you don't get it put together, <laughs> everything over there is just gonna go to goodwill. I'm like, oh okay. I just I hate having to go through the process of all that. So that's what I'll be working on this week. Um, but I will hopefully get my fall decor up and get a little home tour video put together for you. Also, I have done some stitching for Cindy's Cross Stitch Retreat in Knoxville, Tennessee in about two and a half weeks, three weeks, October 4th, 5th, and 6th. Super, super excited. I think there's about 40 or 45 of us that's going to be there. Huge difference from the 400 at StitchCon. So this is going to be my first, you know, smaller intimate retreat. So I'm looking so forward to that. So I have stitched a small, uh, stitched a small piece for that, for the smalls exchange that we're going to do. Um, so I'll show you that after the retreat. Okay, so let's get into what have I, what have I been working on? I actually have two finishes and one I'm super duper excited about. Lottie Dawes, Something Wicked. I have concentrated on this the past few weeks because I'm like, I want to get this done. I was, it stitched up so quickly. Um, thrilled with it. This is on 36 count deep pumpkin from Luminous Fiber Arts. I just think the color is perfect for this. And I had showed you the soft pumpkin that I had gotten from Misty, um, that I was probably going to put toil and trouble on that. And I have that kitted up, plan on starting that today. I'll show you, um, that in a moment, but I have, I purchased my finishing ideas because I want these to be hung in my home as companion pieces. So I think what I've came up with is a really cool idea it's um well i'll i'll tell y'all about it when i do actually get it finished so love this I at least want to get this one fully finished to get it up this year um because i won't be able to get toil and trouble finished <clears throat> i don't think but who knows <laughs> but super thrilled with getting this done the black boot is weak sty works coal the letters is, I believe it's General Arts Raven. It's a black and a very deep green. You probably can't see much of the green in this shot, but really cool. I'm going to use the same Raven floss for the letters on Toil and Trouble. So yeah, love this, love this, love this. Okay, finish number one. Finish number two is Sammy Scarecrow from Pickle Barrel Designs. This is how, ooh, this is how, this was in Just Cross Stitch Magazine. Um, oh, I don't see the dates. I don't see them up. October 2015, he was in there. Sammy Scarecrow. I plan on finishing him like this, so that's why I wanted to show you him like this because right now he's just, my husband seen it and he was like, why, why is he all like stretched out? <sighs> and then I showed him the finishing idea and he's like, hey, okay. Super, super cute. This is on, I believe it's um, some artiste uh, linen from, Hobby Lobby, it's a, I think a 32 count, and um, I believe it was raw, like a brown, you know, light brown, but I did tea and coffee dye it, so it made it look a little bit older. Um, but yeah, he stitched up really fast. I really focused on him, um, so yeah. Okay, and I did actually, start and finish the stitching for the smalls exchange so actually i actually had three finishes i'll have to show you the other one later so my whips 
I have two whips going. Well, I have more than two, but <laughs> the two I worked on. This one is from, oh, and I meant to look something up. Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, the fall 2019. There are so many more charts that I want to stitch from this, so I'm going to keep this one handy. I have almost got this one done. Probably three quarters of the way done. I have Newt from Kanikis. And I plan on finishing it like this in this little jar. Um, you actually, it's acrylic paint and cinnamon and she tells you how to finish it like that and love this. This is actually the first in a series. Um, I, I meant to look up, I believe it was released um, as a chart from her on her website. Uh, bats, bats of wing, or <laughs> wings of bat. <laughs> So I um, want to get this one done and then, of course, get the next one in the series. I, th I just think it's so cool. So here is where I am. I am stitching this on, I think it's uh, 28 count. I think it's 28 count. I am using, um, this is... Days gone by, thirty or twenty-eight count days gone by. So yeah, I just got to do the little top wiggly stuff in here, and then just this this side pretty much back matches the side. Do that down through there. So I got the little newt done and the letters, of course. But yeah, this is a stitched one over one on twenty-eight count. I have really enjoyed stitching this one over one. I didn't know if I would or not. I thought it like, I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this or if it's going to stress me out, but I really enjoyed it. So yeah, I can't wait to get this one done. It's only about three inches or so tall, two inches wide. So yeah, it's really small. I love it. So that's my first whip that I've been working on and my second one that I've really been concentrating on. I've really used Cheryl McKinney's Facebook group, um, her challenges or prompts to um, get this knocked out and earn some tokens in the process. <laughs> so the other one is Trigger Treat Pumpkin Stitch from the Primitive Hair. Love this guy. Oh my gosh. Super cute. This is my progress. I am stitching this on. This is uh, Grant Paul's sleeve from, from XU Designs. And I think the last time I had showed you this, I had... I don't know if I even had, because I worked on it a little bit at StitchCon. Um, so I know I had most of that done there and maybe a little bit of the hat. I think I started outlining the hat. So just fill that in. I'm stitching it one over two on this 36 count grandpa sleeve. So yeah, I'm trying to get this hat knocked out. And it's actually going fairly quickly. I thought, I'll, you know, get that outline in there and then just fill it in and count my stitches and get some tokens for it and hopefully I'll get him done soon but whew, a lot of orange in the little pumpkin because <laughs> the pumpkin's bigger than the hat so we'll see but I'm really loving the colors and how it's coming out on this fabric really happy with that okay And as I mentioned before or earlier, I um, am going to start because I kitted it up, you know, got my fabric cut out for it. And so I definitely want to get it at least started tonight. And that's uh, Toil and Trouble from La Di Da. So this will be a companion piece to something wicked. 
I'm going to be able to start it tonight, but I, well, it shows um, that black border right there. I'm not going to stitch that black border, but I am recharting this because I'm going to kind of put these over top of each other. And so I want the nose to face this way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want her face to be over here and hit the nose to come this way. Just, you know, to kind of make it more, uh, I don't know. I think it would be more eye, eye appealing that way. So, It's really not going to be that bad for the for the nose because it's just literally you're reversing the image. What I'm not sure about doing is the letters because of course when you reverse it then the letters the words read backwards. So I think hopefully it will just be a matter of, I'm not going to be able to put that little spider there and kind of just shift these down this way a little bit. So I'm hoping that's all it's going to take. From eyeballing it, I think it'll be okay. So, that's my plan. And as I said, I am putting it on um, Luminous Fiber Arts. Uh, 36 count pumpkin or soft pumpkin such a beautiful color and I did get a fairly large piece of that the last time because I think it's just a beautiful Halloween orange color it's not too bright over the top but the green of the witch it called for DMC Called for DMC 3348. This was really, really close to it. Um, this was Victorian Motto's actual conversion to DMC 733. It is Victorian Motto Bayberry is the green I'm using. I thought it looked really nice on this orange on the soft pumpkin. It's not too overwhelming, but you definitely get the green witch effect, which I love. And it coordinates well with this one, where it's kind of a so softer color palette here. So I think it's all gonna look awesome. So excited about getting these done but I don't know just all kind of depends it you know it's going to start getting into the busy time of the year for me because I love fall and doing all things fall going to the fall festivals and just all the things that entails the bonfires and just all the fun that we can have out there okay so that's what I will be starting this evening. I have a little bit of haul I'll share with you. Even after all the haul that I got last time, I still got a little bit more. <laughs> and these came from either um, any of the cross stitch stash unload groups on Facebook and a couple from eBay. The first one I picked up was JBW Designs, ABCs, and Christmas Trees. Love this little chart. Oh my gosh. I had not opened to look inside of that, but look at this one. The Great Pumpkin Alphabet. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, just mentally added it to my uh, musket list. Oh my lord. This came from a stash on the group. This is, oh my gosh, Sarah Gormani, maybe. 
I think it's Italian. And I do not speak Italian. I speak like redneck American English. <laughs> but anyway, look at this beauty. It is Waiting for Christmas. I seen I had not seen this chart before, but oh my goodness, she posted this for sale and it actually came with the linen as well. It is 278 by 263. Rather large, but it's not full coverage. So, um, you know, the little house is still pretty spread apart. So hopefully it won't be a ton of stitching, but oh my gosh. I'm like, I have to have that. Just a beautiful little town up in a hill. Beautiful. And it came with like the linen. I believe it's probably a 28 count. Or a 32 count. Beautiful. Love that. And it calls for DMCs. And it came with, there's three buttons that was included in it as well. So yeah, love that. This, I think this was another stash unload. Um, the work basket, Quaker Robins. Look at that. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute. I love Robins. So I jumped all over that. It's just a few dollars. But super cute. Love, love, love this. Yeah, they're relatively 100 by 100. I scored another unicorn chart that I didn't think I would ever get my hands on. But I pretty much love every single chart in this book. And so when I seen this book and it was offered at a discount, this was on eBay. It was offered, um, I guess, to all the watchers of the charts, uh, of a certain chart, they'll send out, hey, we'll discount this so much. So I jumped all over it. Because, like I said, I love every single chart in this. Peppermint and Holly by Blackbird Designs. Just, I, I can't think of a word to describe these charts. They're just, just simply elegant. I just, ugh, gorgeous. Love this. This is, actually is a couple of punch needle, punch needle charts as well absolutely love that oh my gosh i love every single one so i want to start one of these for christmas um but i've, I've got to sit down and prioritize what i want to stitch what needs to get stitched what has to get stitched because I haven't even started on Christmas gift stitching. You know, I was supposed to do an orna ornament a month. Yeah, it didn't happen. Prayer school or Santa once a month. Nope, didn't happen. <laughs> so I got to sit down. I need to make a list of what I need to stitch, who I need to stitch it for, and get to going. <sighs> so, yeah. Busy, busy times ahead for me. Um... This is going to be a short and sweet floss too because I've got to get over to our barn and start working on our yard sale. So, um, about the third weekend in October, there's a big autumn festival um, down in Bethlehem, Indiana. And lots of traffic from Louisville and Jeffersonville and from that area going right down the highway. We're on the main highway in this area. So we get lots of traffic. There's always lots of yard sales set up on along the highway and along the little road going down to the river. So I got to get busy on that to get some of this stuff out of here. Um, so yeah, concentrating on yard sale, figure out what I need to stitch for Christmas, knock, still knock out some of these whips as quickly as I can. Um, Cause yeah, October, I'm really gonna have to start concentrating on, you know, if I want to work on some whips, that's fine, but I've got to work in the ornaments and the gifts for Christmas. So, uh, yeah, 
So that's my plans. <laughs> Hopefully it starts cooling off soon because uh, I just got a notification from the weather right before I started this video that we have now been 23 days without rain. It in between no rain and this heat, our yards, plants, trees are parched. I mean, it sounds like fall out there because the leaves are so dry in the trees. It's, it's kind of sad to look because all the plants are looking horrible. Um, you see my yard, I can't go around and water everything. So, and also concern for the farmers with their crops. Um, hopefully we get a break soon. Um, I think next week, is the earliest that there's a really good chance of rain and that's like Wednesday of next week and it's like a 20 or 30 percent chance so hopefully fall is literally right around the corner um to give us a break from this the heat wave and the drought situation so there's my plans and great catching up with you Marlene Klauser please email me so I can uh, I will start working on it. That's enough. I got to make a project bag for Marlene. <laughs> so we'll get that knocked out and get this to Marlene so she can enjoy it with her Christmas stitching. And, oh, and I was also going to mention, um, cause she had mentioned love my project. She loves my project bags. And if I ever decide to sell them, she would love to buy some. Well, it's kind of hard to find a part-time job between nine and three. I was wanting to get a part-time job um, between my morning and evening bus routes, or morning and afternoon bus routes, which is between nine and three. It's kind of hard to find jobs for that time frame. So I've been thinking, I'm thinking if I have as much free time as I think I'm gonna have after we get our store sold, which, please Lord, we are so close. Um, I think I'm going to make some project bags between in that time frame. Um, if I don't find a part-time job, I'm going to have to do something to make up the difference. And I think I might enjoy it. So that is, um, you know, in the works to get some projects, uh, project bags made and start selling those so be on the lookout for that it'll probably it's probably going to be about a month or so at least before i can get get underway and get some inventory built up on that so be on the lookout for that and i will hopefully touch base with you it's still probably going to be a couple weeks in between each floss tube um so enjoy these next couple weeks hopefully you are getting some cooler weather and enjoy it if you do. <laughs> Until next time, friends, happy stitching.